Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 2 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of n is equal to 2016. Now, as you see, because 2 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of n is equal to a positive number, which in this case is 2016, we know that 2 to the power of m is greater than 2 to the power of n. Because let's say, hypothetically, that m was equal to 1 and n was equal to 2. We would have 2 to the power of 1 minus 2 squared is equal to a positive number. 2 to the power of 1 is 2 minus 2 squared is 4. And this is equal to negative 2, which is a negative number. So because 2 to the power of m is greater than 2 to the power of n, this also means that m is greater than n because both have bases of 2. So now I'm going to set m equal to n plus some constant k. So now I have, if I plug in n plus k for m, 2 to the power of n plus k minus 2 to the power of n is equal to 2016. Now, as you can see, we have 2 to the power of n plus k, and I want to simplify this. So this is essentially in the form a to the power of m plus n. And this can be simplified into a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of n plus k in this case this is equal to 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of k minus 2 to the power of n equal to 2016. Now, because both terms here have 2 to the power of n in them, I'm simply going to factor out 2 to the power of n. So now I have 2 to the power of n times, now 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of k divided by 2 to the power of n is simply just 2 to the power of k minus, now 2 to the power of n divided by 2 to the power of n is 1. So this is equal to 2016. So now I have 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 2016. Now, because 2 to the power of n, because we have a base of 2, we know that this is going to be even. Because 2 to the power of any number is even. 2 to the power of 5 is 32. 2 to the power of 4 is not 36. It's supposed to be 2. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. Notice how all... The powers of 2 are positive, or sorry, not positive, even. So 2 to the power of any number, n, is even. Now, if we subtract 1 from an even number, what is it going to be? It's going to be odd, right? So 2 to the power of any number minus 1, that number will be odd, because 2 to the power of any, any number is even, so if we subtract 1 from an even number, it's going to be odd. So I have an even number times an odd number. Meaning we need to change 2016 so it's in the form of an even number times an odd number. So now this will be equal to 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of k minus 1. Remember this is 2 to the power of n is even. 2 to the power of k minus 1 is odd. And this is equal to now, 2016, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 5, which is even, times 63, which is odd. Now, 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32 times 63, which is equal to 2016. So I simply just wrote 2016 as 2 to the power of 5 times 63 because this is an even number times an odd number. 
Now, this gives us two equations. We have 2n is equal to 2 to the power of 5, and 2 to the power of k minus 1 is equal to 63. What I essentially did was I set the even numbers equal to each other, and I set the odd numbers equal to each other. So for 2 to the power of n is equal to 2 to the power of 5, if we have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. So for 2 to the power of n is equal to 2 to the power of 5, n is equal to 5. So our value for n is 5. Now for 2 to the power of k minus 1, we, I am going to first start by adding 1 on both sides. So I have 2 to the power of k is equal to 63 plus 1 is 64. Now we need to find out 2 to the power of what is equal to 64. Now we know that 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2. And if we go a little farther, 2 to the power of 4, this is equal to 16. 2 to the power of 5, this is equal to 32. So one more should do the trick. 2 to the power of 6, this is equal to 32 times 2, which is 64. So now we have 2 to the power of k is equal to 2 to the power of 6. And again, remember, if we have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, k is equal to 6. So now we have our value for n. We have our value for k. We know that n is equal to 5 k is equal to 6. However, remember, our original equation, this was 2 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of n is equal to 2016. And so far, we've found out our value for n. However, we did not find our value for m. But remember, we did state in the start that m was equal to n plus k. And we have our values for k and n. So we can simply plug these in. So now we have m is equal to 6 plus 5. 6 plus 5 is 11, so we have m is equal to 11. So now we have both our values for n and m, so now let's go ahead and check. So m is 11, so we have 2 to the power of 11 minus 2 to the power of n, which is 5, is equal to 2016. Now, 2 to the power of 11, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that as 2 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 6. So now I have this minus 2 to the power of 5, which is 2016. Now, if I factor out 2 to the power of 5, I get 2 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 6 minus 1, 2016. Now, 2 to the power of 5 is 32. 2 to the power of 6 is 64. 64 minus 1. And now this is equal to 2016. 32 times 63 is 2016. So we have 2016 is equal to 2016, meaning our values for n. And hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. So we have 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this can be written as a to the power of m times n. And the same thing can also be vice versa. If we have something in the form a to the power of m times n, 
This can be written as a to the power of m to the power of n. So right here we have 9. And 9, this is equal to 3 squared, right? 9 is equal to 3 squared. So I'm going to first replace all our 9's here with 3 squared. So we have 3 squared to the power of 10 plus, again, 3 squared to the power of 10 plus 3 squared to the power of 10. And now, as you can see, our, all three of our terms are in the form a to the power of m to the power of n. And remember, that is equal to a to the power of m times n. So this would equal 3 to the power of 2 times 10. And the same goes for the other two. Now, 2 times 10 is 20. So we have 3 to the power of 2, or sorry, 3 to the power of 20 plus 3 to the power of 20 plus 3 to the power of 20. And now if we factor out 3 to the power of 20 from this, we get 3 to the power of 20 times 3 to the power of 20 divided by 3 to the power of 20 is 1. And same goes for the other two. So now we have 3 to the power of 20 times 1 plus 1 plus 1. And 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So now we have 3 to the power of 20 times 3. 